Doctors say that a soccer ball launched by a strong blow when hit in the head can damage the brain. However, everything is not that hopeless. The right technique and a strong neck will help in minimizing damage. But in any case, you shouldn't do more than three or four strokes a day with your head on the ball. That is why experienced coaches train young players to play only with their feet. The flight of the ball often reaches speed over 100 kilometers per hour. A short-term pressure on the head can act as a mass of up to one and a half tons. When the head and the ball collide, it results in a 30-fold acceleration of freefall. In players whose ball met with the head more often, the researchers found damage that was comparable to the consequences after a slight concussion. Tony. Their centers of memory and coordination of movements looked worse than others. However, significant changes in cells and nerve fibers were not detected. Doctors believe that the problem is not the number of hits with a ball on the head, but in direction of the strikes. <laughs> the important role here plays the proper technique and well-defined muscles of the neck and the skull to maintain stability. The most dangerous are the uncontrolled hits with the ball on the head, for example, in the temple, as well as collisions with other players or rats. Experienced players do not just jump headfirst into the ball. They build the optimal tension in the area of the neck and distribute the weight of hitting the ball on the entire body.